Hello and welcome to Coffee Talk Messages, your spiritual guidance for the week. I am Cheryl Mazza, the healing dancer, and this is where I pull some cards to give you some guidance and some messages for the week ahead or for what, whenever you are seeing this. So know that if you are seeing this, this message is for you, no matter when, it's timeless. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea or water, whatever you like to drink, and join me for some messages and guidance. So today I am using the guardian angel messages tarot. Now I am not a tarot reader. I don't know shit about tarot cards, tarot, whatever you want to call it, but it has angels on it. So I'm very drawn to angels, which is why I have that deck. I also have the angel number Oracle that we'll be using and from hoping to have an affirmation cards. Let's get into it. Some amazing, amazing messages coming in for this week. As we know, it has been pretty heavy, the energy, but there's a lot of amazingness coming in. So let's hold that light. Let's hold that high vibration and listen up. All right. So we have the three of earth, talent, recognition, collaboration. Let me show you the card. Three of earth. So to me, just looking at the card is this woman is working on something that brings her joy, something that is her talent. She loves doing, you know, the glass art and is putting that out into the world. And there's an angel behind her shining its light on her to help put this out into the world, her talent, and she is being recognized by it. So this is what the book says. This is the card of great skill, talent, and craftsmanship. Within you is the ability to create amazing works if only you follow your passions and let your heart lead you. Do what you love. Learn everything there is to know on the topic. Take seminars, get training from a wonderful mentor, or complete a degree from a university or trade school. The key point here is, to do, is that you do something that makes you happy. It can be very emotionally rewarding to work with others. Teamwork and commitment to a project you believe in bring the recognition and compensation you are seeking. Angel message. Allow us to help you secure work in the creative field that makes your heart sing. Think of us as your angelic agents as we bring your beautiful talents to the notice of the world. Additional meanings for this card financial rewards for doing what you love, making a satisfying living in a creative profession, confidence in your talent, teaching others a skill, winning an award for your work. So this week, what this means is to focus on what brings you joy work-wise, like what you like to do. So for me, I'm an energy healer. I'm an intuitive. I love doing energy healing. I have healing through dance, right? You see that through the back. That's that's the class that I teach, that I facilitate, and it's using dance as a healing modality because dance is so healing, but it also combines energy healing and oracle cards for guidance. So focus on what it is that you love to do. What does your creative side love to do? Is it creating some kind of art? Is it dancing? Is it singing? Is it energy healing? You know, it might even be something totally not even close to those things, which is fine. So what this guidance is telling you to do this week is to bring that to the surface for you and focus on that. You can make the world a better place and do what you love, okay? Don't let society and all these people in your life tell you that you can't do what you love. I know it's hard. Trust me. I'm still in that boat of trying to bring that into my life and doing more of what I love and being compensated for it and using that as a means of living. So this is coming out for a lot of us this week. Obviously, if you're watching this, this is something that's been on your mind that's coming up for you. Pay attention to it. Focus on your talents and what brings you joy and keep doing that. The angels want you to do what you love and put it out there into the world because it is obviously needed. And if it is on your heart and you love doing it, then it is meant to be done and meant to be out in the world. All right. The angel number is 2020. 
I know that number might bring up some um, not so great memories, but we have bonds. 2020. Look at this picture. Look how beautiful the colors are. And here's the message behind this number. This is a beautiful message. So really listen up to this. Things are looking up. You've been focused on building a strong foundation and it shows. You will be reaping all the wonderful rewards you absolutely deserve. Your connections and partnerships are leveling up, resulting in better productivity and deeper emotional connections. These bonds may also be felt on a spiritual level. Celebrate your achievements. So whatever you've been working on, this goes hand in hand with this, okay? Celebrate your achievements. Celebrate yourself. So... This book describes when this comes in reversed, which it didn't, but you might have been feeling these things, miscommunication, cross wires, misinformation, illusions and fakes, lack of community, isolation and destruction. I don't know about you, but the world has felt like that since 2020. Okay, so what it is now, since this came in upright, is forging stronger bonds, productivity, and inspiration, feeling in tune with a higher power, positive connections, okay? We are creating positive connections with each other, with the world. The division is coming to an end. We are moving into a more beautiful, loving world. Whether you feel it or not, it's coming. Look at the heart. I mean, seriously. The heart tells it all, right? Love always wins. So let's stay in that vibration for this week. So the affirmation that comes with this card is, I always make exciting and meaningful connections. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Your affirmation card for the week is to receive. Listen to this. I am so happy and grateful now that all good things come to me. Okay. So stop what you're doing. Take this in, take a look at it. Say these words out loud. I am so happy and grateful now that all good things come to me. Breathe that in. All good things are coming to you, are coming to me, are coming to all of us this week and beyond right now. Okay, believe it, receive it, that all good things are coming to you, okay? Pay attention to what it is your heart desires. What are your talents? Share them with the world. Ask the angels and God for guidance to help you put that out into the world and to make room for you to do more of what you love because you deserve to do that. You don't have to be that cog in the wheel and continue to work your ass off at a job that you do not enjoy or doing things you do not enjoy every day, day in and day out, okay? It's time to bring more of that joy into your life. Do it already. If you've been waiting, now is the time. Just freaking do it, even if it's something small. 2020 here, we are creating connectivity, bonds, not only with our creator, but also with each other. And we are starting to come together, whether we agree with each other or disagree with each other, but that love is coming in. So let's concentrate on this heart, all right? On this heart right now to bring all of the good things and be grateful for the love that you already have in your heart and continue to grow that love in your heart, even for those that might piss you off or might have difference of opinion for you it's love. Love is the answer to end all of that. Trust me. I know. I've been there. It's hard. But when we concentrate on love, the world is a better place. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching and for listening. I hope you have an amazing week for wherever you are. Have an amazing day. Keep dancing your dance. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.